Today is Saturday, uh, May 7, 2016, and uh, it's about uh, noontime here in L.A., and I'm going to do these uh, videos from now on at least once a month, maybe more often, depending on the circumstances. Uh, quite a lot has happened since the, the last audio update about a month ago. The main thing is that the um, U.S. government is getting involved in the daily fantasy issue. Uh, prior to this, it's been going state by state um, with about 10 states that have said it's illegal and three states that have passed laws to make it legal. Uh, now the feds have stepped in, and um, uh, in response to that, we've put out a bunch of press releases, and we also did a uh, 700, roughly 750-piece 700 mailing to all the members of Congress, all the California Assembly, um, all the attorney generals, uh, selected media, the leagues, and a few other names, um, basically to draw attention to the uh, very deceptive narrative that is out in the public domain uh, with regard to uh, the legality of daily fantasy. So to follow up on that, I'm going to be going to D.C. next week to attend these hearings. Um, I don't know yet whether or not I'll be called to testify or if I'm going to have any interaction with the media, but I am going to sit in on them and listen. Um, this is uh, the very first... Uh, of a, of a very first thing, very first thing to happen uh, in the federal system related to daily fantasy. So I think it's extremely important that um, we see it firsthand and and see what's going on there. And maybe again there'll be some interaction with the media. Maybe not. Um, I could be called to testify. It's not looking like that's going to be the case right now, but it still could happen. So that's uh, that's very important stuff. Um, we put out a bunch of press releases, uh, for I think four or five, maybe six, since the last time uh, I did the audio update on various topics. If you want to see those, uh, you can go to the newsportseconomy.com, and all of that is chronicled there. Um, we published the, the New York amicus, the brief um, that's been filed with the Supreme Court, New York Supreme Court, which we have not yet received any um, response on. It has not been entered into the docket, but we have published it basically for the benefit of anyone out there that may be looking for legal argumentation against daily fantasy. It's, it's pretty well spelled out there. So we did that. Um, we've received some uh, substantial media coverage, uh, CBS Radio, NBC in, in Los Angeles here, and then uh, just uh, yesterday, um, actually Thursday, May Cinco de Mayo, <laughs> May 5th, um, we had our first national network coverage on television uh, through Fox. Um, that's, uh, that's never happened before. That it hasn't happened since ASM has been revived, uh, nor did it happen uh, 10 years ago when we put it together the first time. So this is very substantial. I think that we'll see um, a big uptick in media coverage and interest in our story over the coming weeks and months um, as a result of this. So we are definitely making progress in the media, um, trading our story up the chain, as they say, um, you know, making it to national network television news. I mean, that's, that's basically the, the top. So I uh, expect to see more of that. Uh, we're working a couple of deals uh, with active NBA and NFL player, an and, and active NBA and an active NFL player to be surrogates for us, uh, brand ambassadors. Uh, so that's very exciting stuff. Uh, we continue to grow the marketplace on in terms of number of traders and trading volume. So that's that's also moving along nicely. So uh, it's it's looking really good, guys, uh, folks. Um, I'm very pleased with uh, our progress. The party is now uh, the the launch party for the remaining three sports is now uh, almost exactly three months from from this date. So uh, we'll be be starting you'll start to see more um, attention being placed on that to really make uh, a, a really special event out of that make it even bigger than the last one and the last one went off pretty well so that's uh, that's the major points um, since I did the audio update about a month ago and again I'm gonna do these as videos from now on and um, maybe more frequently the once a month if the circumstances dictate so uh, thanks for your time, and I will um, speak with you again in about a month. Bye now.